Hi, Susie from Lewis Gallery. How are you today? Just uh, dropping in again, um, talking more about our, our Powerful You program that we're developing in um, getting your mindset around some, you know, being super conscious about the things that you're thinking about and planning and what you want your life to look like. And it's a big deal to understand how much control and power you actually have to influence the, the trajectory of, of where you're headed. Now, in recent years, I, I lost my way a little bit. That's the truth. I was very uh, searching in looking for where it was that art was going to take me. And like I'd done my study, I'd been to college, I'd been to uni, all of that was coming together. And I loved making art. But this other purpose cropped up in, in helping other artists. And for the longest time, I found myself uh, really falling into being super excited about what other people were making and helping to to give platform platforms for that work to be shared that I, I stopped making my own art. And it was, you know, I was only picking up a paintbrush or, or drawing on, on the rare occasion, which isn't really true to who I am or who I've been in life and you know I've always always drawn and painted and and you know communicated through that visual platform but you know I found myself on this other other trajectory now the cool thing about that is it's it's not good it's not bad it's just what is and with an opportunity to to look back on the other side of that I can see how much I grew out of helping other people find their voices and as much as I was you know willing to offer support and encouragement and advice to to what everyone else was doing I needed to really then when I was searching for purpose turn that back in on myself and go what is it that lights you up when you talk about it what is it that you get super excited about and you know what gives you that really place of grounding and making art and creating and communicating with people that is where I'm in my happy place. It really is. It's, um, you know, and, and I can't be in a space where I, I eliminate the creative aspect and feel like I'm going to be whole. The point of the exercise, though, is to go, we've talked about the nature of um, acceptance in going, everything that happens, it's not good or bad, it just is and it's there to propel us and it's perfectly in nature, with uh, perfectly in sync with what you're telling the universe should be. But the space of surrender is a little bit different. It's like when you've been um, fighting to find purpose and fighting to find rhythm, you're kind of like a fish that's swimming upstream but looking for the source of the, the trouble. Like you, you're swimming against the tide all the time going, how do I turn this around? But when you get into a place of surrender, you, you kind of surrender quite literally is the, the giving up of the fight. And um, it's like the fish finally finds the current in the water and starts swimming with it. And the propulsion of the water moves you forward instead of fighting against it and struggling all the time. So that place of surrender for me is going, yes, I love to help people. Yes, I love to support people, but I also really love to create as well. And when you can really sit in that place of acceptance and surrender for the journey that you've been on, but let go of the fight, that's when the magic starts to happen. Art rocks.